back to the channel with something a bit different for you today. We're going to have a little urban explore. Let's take a look at the boys' village, St. Arthur. Here we are in the chapel. Loads of graffiti on the walls here. In the quiet countryside of St. Arthur, South Wales, lies the crumbling remains of a place that once buzzed with youthful energy and optimism. This is the boys' village, a place that played a unique role in the history of the region. Today, its decaying structures stand as a haunting reminder of a different time. But what was the village and why was it built? Join us as we uncover the story of the boys' village of St. Arthur. To understand the boys' village, we need to go back to the early 1920s, a period when the coal mines of South Wales were at the heart of the local economy. Coal mining was dangerous and gruelling work and many young boys, some as young as 12, were employed in the mines. These boys faced harsh conditions daily, often working long hours in dark, unsafe environments. Seeing the physical and moral challenges these young workers faced, a group of philanthropists and social reformers had a vision to create a place where these boys could escape the rigours of mine life. Even if it's just a short time, the result of this vision was the boys' village, built near St. Arthur in 1925. The boys' village was more than just a holiday camp. It was a community in itself designed to accommodate hundreds of boys at a time. The village had everything needed to provide a break from their daily hardships. Dormitories, a dining hall, a chapel, sports facilities and even a swimming pool. The daily routine at the boys' village balanced recreation with education. Mornings were often spent learning practical skills like woodworking and metalwork, while afternoons were dedicated to sports, games and outdoor activities. The chapel was central to village life, offering moral guidance and fostering a sense of community among the boys. During its peak, the boys' village was a beacon of hope for the young miners. It offered them a rare opportunity to enjoy their childhood, learn new skills and make lifelong friends. For many, the time spent here was a cherished escape from the gruelling reality of the mines. And as you can see, there's not a great deal of the site left now. It's all being demolished, ready for new housing. Check the second building out. <sighs> 
Historians often speak of the boys' village as a symbol of the early 20th century social reform movement in South Wales, a time when community leaders, philanthropists, were striving to improve the lives of working class families. But as the decades passed, the world around the boys' village began to change. The coal industry, once the backbone of the Welsh economy, started to decline after World War II. With fewer boys working in the mines, the demand for the village's services dwindled. By the 1970s, the boys' village was no longer needed as it once was. The site was eventually closed and the buildings were left to the elements. Over the years, the village has become a target for vandals and nature began to reclaim the land. Today, the boys' village is a shadow of its former self, but it continues to attract attention this time from urban explorers, photographers and historians. For them, the site is a poignant reminder of the past, a relic of an era when community efforts were made to provide hope and relief for the younger generation of miners. Though the buildings are crumbling and the grounds are overgrown, the legacy of the boys' village lives on. It serves as a reminder of the challenges faced by previous generations and the efforts made to create a better life for those who toiled in the mines. The boys' village of St. Arthur may now be abandoned, but its story is far from forgotten. It's a tale of resilience, community, and the passage of time. A story that continues to resonate with all who visit or learn about this unique piece of Welsh history. And here's the monument from the two world wars. Let's get the drone up and see what it looks like from above.
And there you go, the boys' village, St. Arthur. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you all on the next one. Thank you.